Hello everybody, Multiman37 back here with another review, this time of the Deluxe Bison King from Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja. This is the personal mech of Star Ninja. Hopefully I can get all the features of this bad boy into one video. If not, I'm going to have to split this into two parts. Uh, let's just get on with it, starting with the box, Shuriken, Rodeomaru, and Bison King. Or, the Bison King buggy. So, on the, so here we have the box on the front. You got Bison King, Rodeo Maru riding the Bison King buggy. On this, this side, you got a picture of the transformation into Bison King. This side, you get combinations for King Shuri Kenjin. Bottom, we have uh, the formation or the little shot of Bison King and. Uh, Rodeo Maru riding the Bison King buggy, Star Ninja with the Bison King Otomani Shuriken, or I think it's the Otomani Shuriken Rodeo Maru version, and on the back is, of course, everything you're going to do with this thing. So, yeah. Um, starting with the Shuriken, here we have it right here, which I had on the back of the Bison King buggy. This is the Otomanin Shuriken Rodeo Maru version. Comes in two pieces, uh, the blade and the core. We'll start with the blade. The blade is done out in a metallic bronze color. It does have the stylized ends on it. And uh, unlike the perfect star shape that was on the blade of the Star Ninja Shuriken, the star shape here has some angles to it, uh, which will be shown off a little bit more later on because there's a lot more sharp angles to this so uh yeah the core on the other hand is your bit is um is rolling away from me while i had to put this on um is brown rather than being a uh, silver or or a uh, black so um you do get the kanji for uh, ox or cow, which is ushi. Uh, you flip the face up, you get the star pattern with the swirls. Uh, the face of Bison King is right there with the nice metallic red paint. Speaker, of course, the back button's right there. Attach the shuriken on. Uh, no sounds, all the sounds come from the back button. Now, normally I'd put it in the uh, Ninja Ichibanto, but this is not meant for the Ninja Ichibanto. This is meant for the Ninja Star Burger, uh, which, if I can adjust the camera without it doing weird stuff, and right now it's doing weird stuff, don't, thank you. It's right here. Um, now, as you know, Otomani Shurikens do not have the little button that gets pressed whenever the shuriken is spun. So, in order to do this properly, you have to spin the shuriken and hit the button again, uh, which is a little bit redundant. And it even, because of the friction, it even stops the shuriken from completing its full spin. So we will open this up, and you'll see. You'll see later. Um, and then focus properly, please. Anyway, hit the button. And that would summon Rodeo Maru. And if we were to close this up, instead of being a cheeseburger, now it's a hamburger without cheese. So that's actually kind of clever. So we'll leave that off to the side. Put this back on the Bison King buggy. And let's start off with Rodeo Maru. Uh, very nice, done out in. Uh, light blue plastic with bits of gold paint as well as silver and metallic red for the face as you can clearly see. Now this is a very lackluster. Um, however, on the bright side there was a Super Sentai Artisans version of this bad boy himself uh, 
that I do want to get uh, along with Shinobi Mars. So they did release a Super Sentai Artisans um, Rodeo Maru. However, uh, uh, as for Shinobi Maru, the Deluxe Sh Shinobi Maru, even if you get the Super Sentai Artisans version of this guy, uh, the DX version is still useful because uh, the, the Artisans version doesn't have the capability of becoming an arm for the different formations. Why is this not focused? I don't know. So, that's why this is still useful. However, uh, the Deluxe Rodeo Maru does not have any other uses. Uh, so, if you were to get uh, the Artisan's version, you can very well just leave this in the box or just throw this to the side uh, to be long forgotten. Uh, I mean, whoa. I just knocked off Shuri Kendra's arm. <laughs> So yeah, posability wise, arms can go 360, but they cannot move any further than that because of the little blocker right there. Same thing for the other arm. Uh, there is a little peg to attach this this, this to Shuri Kenjin, but I'm not going to use it. Uh, the legs do move in tandem. Uh, you can kind of get him on a kneeling sort of pose, but really it's not that impressive. So, the impressive part of the set is definitely the Bison King buggy, where I, I originally thought this was actually Rodeo Maru, uh, and I didn't even see this guy. I thought maybe this could have just been called, like, Rider Maru or something. I don't know. Uh, but I would have definitely liked it if this had been called Rodeo Maru, because it definitely fits the thing. I mean, there's nothing really Rodeo-themed about this guy, but, eh, whatever. Um, he does have four red ABS wheels that allow him to roll quite roughly, as you can hear. Uh, he, he has some good amount of detail, especially up here on the seat where Rodeo Maru goes, uh, as you can tell. Um, so, yeah. And he doesn't have four wheels. He actually has six wheels because of the extra wheels right there, um, which is actually very interesting. Uh, you, know, you got a little engine block here. Uh, this sort of brown on the face here, I haven't really seen uh, before except for in Gao God because that was kind of the black brown repaint of Gao King, which I actually do have on the way. Uh, so, yeah. um, now to attach this to have him riding it, uh, you want to push his head up flip the arms forward um, and put the legs like that. And then you want to attach the little holes right here into the peg right here. And there he is riding Rodeo Maru, except he can't really, you can't really see his head looking at it front. Uh, you can push up his head. His head does have some range of articulation, so you can kind of get him doing like a quagmire giggity pose. And you can also make his head look up like that, um, and then, uh, touch that in, but yeah, this thing is pretty big, uh, yeah, these, these headlights aren't actually a thing, they don't turn on, I wish they did though, uh, so yeah, he rolled, uh, now he's riding the Bison King buggy, and he's even holding on to the little ropes, uh, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, you can't really see his head all that well, though, but oh well. Now, for uh, to transform him into Bison King, uh, all you gotta do, uh, you don't have to remove Rodeo Mar, but I'm just gonna do it temporarily, because uh, I feel like it. Uh, take off the seat, take off the shuriken, uh, which uh, it's still exposed in the back, so you can very well... Still push it. Now take the wheel and engine section, take off the pipe here, and you want to lift this whole thing up, spread these parts out, pull out the feet, close them up, and you know that will be his feet. Now he needs uh, some 
He has height issues right now, so I better raise the camera as high as I can. Um, as you can see, he is getting, uh, well, no, he's not getting tall, but uh, eh, we'll wait until you see the combination. Uh, take the seat, attach it there, fold the head down, push the arm straight forward, uh, give him the rifle, which this little, the little pipe, uh, smoke pipe actually becomes the bison rifle, uh, which is a pretty cool weapon, I'm not gonna lie. Not, not a smoke pipe like, uh, like something you'd smoke, like, uh, the pipe on a car or something, like whatever the hell it is. And then you take, uh, Rodeomaru, get him in the same sitting position that he was in earlier, um, Go. Take the Tomini Shuriken and uh, attach it to the head. There is Bison King. Now, this definitely takes the cowboy aspect of Star Ninja's character because, you know, he's got a big cowboy hat. Uh, which is why the blades of the shuriken were angled that that way because it is supposed to resemble a cowboy hat He's got the tassel hanging off his suit um, Very nice uh, His ability wise is a little bit lackluster though uh, his arms do go the, do go the full 360 They can move outward that far, but they can only move that far inward uh, you can kind of sort of move his whole arm inward and Kind of sort of spread in and out the legs, but doesn't work as well as it should. And, uh, of course, you could, if you really wanted to, take Star Ninja Shuriken and uh, attach it as the head. Or, the other Shuriken that he, use, that he uses, the Fudai Ninja Shuriken, you can also attach that if you want to a little bit. Weirdly, but it works. Uh, oh god, why is that stuck? There we go. And yeah, you can get the shortened sound effect if you hit the button. Now, one com one thing you might want to look at if you're looking at the back. Yeah, there's a lot of mass sticking out back here. In fact, if I push the box, uh, it's barely leaning against the box and now it's pushing it. Now, there is a way to fix that and personally I like to pose them like this is fold that down you can either have the legs like that but I like to put them like that and his body will shift along with it to make sure those are locked in place um, so now he can actually lean on a smooth surface without that whole honking thing on the back uh, which I do like a lot more better and yeah it's pretty cool you can kind of have him getting an outward shooting pose like he does in the show for the bison arakure buster attack very nice um compared to shurikenjin um shurikenjin is a little bit taller than bison king a little bit i'm not sure if they're exactly the same height I'm pretty sure he's uh, he's taller. Uh, uh, Shuri Kenjin's taller than Bison King. Uh, but what's a sixth ranger mech to do other than to combine with the main ranger mech? Because you know that all that that that's a natural thing, right? Ginga man, I'm looking at you. <laughs> I definitely would have liked to seen what uh, the Ginga man combination would have been, but they never did that, and it's impossible for the toys to do that. Anyway, um, a lot of people wish it would. Uh, but anyway, uh, to prep Shurikenjin, we're just going to take out the sword and shield. Uh, but we're not going to leave those off to the side all the time. Uh, like for any of the other combinations. Rip off his arms and take off the Otomo Ninja Shuriken. So you're left with Shinobi Maru, uh, the body of Dump Maru, and then the legs. Uh, so yeah. Bison King, however, is going to get completely disassembled. Take off the shuriken. Take out the seat. I'm going to leave the seat folded like this. Take off the head of the bison. Take out the rifle. 
take off the arms, take off the torso, take off the engine block, split down the legs. Now for the legs, you take this part, and this is where the, the clip is supposed to be in. Hold that in, put that down there, and click that in place. And uh, that silver mark uh, is important le for later. Take this part, push that down. There are no, there's nothing to fold in. And do the same thing, push that on the back. And there's a pink shuriken mark. The reason those are colored is because they match with pink from for uh, Yun Maru. And let me close off my thing here. Uh, silver or white in this case for Wanmaru. So that will tell you which foot goes where. Um, he's gonna get really tall soon, so I need to bump up the camera a lot. And I mean a lot, because you'll see he's gonna get ridiculously huge in two seconds flat. I'm not kidding. He is. Anyway, so yeah, there you got the feet right there. Uh, attach the torso of Bison King to the top of Shurikenjin with the same two pegs for the Shuriken. Stick on, or actually stick on the engine block. The engine block will go uh, on his butt where the tail would go for Shurikenjin Drago. So it would clip in the same way like that. Uh, and that's for more stability. Attach the seat for Rodeo Maru. Uh, give him the arms. Uh, I wish there was like a way that the pegs down here would get covered up, kind of like, uh, what was it? Ground go say great, but oh well. And then he's gonna have uh, bigger hands. So to do that, take these, take the arms of Bison King, put them in, or I'm not sure if you can see this, fold in the arm and push out the, and pull out the hand. He's got a big old fist now. Uh, and then you do the same thing to the other side, attaching the arm there, pushing that up and pulling out the fist. There we go. And then, what's next? We take, let's form the weapon really quick. Uh, you're gonna combine the rifle, the bison rifle, the Drago sword and the Drago shield all together to form one weapon. So attach the sword right there, split the shield, and lock it together like that. And there we have his sword weapon, which I'm not sure what this is called, but it looks cool. Um, attach the Otomini Shuriken to Shuriken, or Rodeo Maru. The regular one, not the Bison King version. Uh, flip up this face panel, which does expose Shinobi Maru's face, which I wish there was a way it could hide it. I mean, you could turn the head, but it looks weird. Um, attach this part, and these little clips will go on the sides where you would attach the Shuriken to any of the roleplay toys. Um, there we go. And then I'm gonna give him his weapon really quick. Uh, there we go. Come on, get it in there. There we go. And then, finally, attach the Bison King Shuriken and attach it right to the tippy top. This, my friends, this monstrosity that we have created is King Shurik Engine. Posability, he only really has the arms. Uh, you could try to move the legs, but he's kind of unstable and it doesn't really work out. Um, but he is pretty big. He is a big man, Gemma. Now, it's a little bit, uh, the head is a little bit unproportionate because the bison head sticks out way too far. I wish there was a way you could collapse that, like 
kind of close like have like the the eyes get covered so that there would be enough it would be shrunk down a little now you could leave this out but i of course like to leave that folded in and the peg where you store the dump maru arm when it's not being used doesn't hinder this part uh folding down at all um the only thing i wish is that i wish the head of shinobi maru wasn't that exposed but oh well oh um he's got a pretty big sword too i really like the sword weapon that he uses it <laughs> look at this thing it is ridiculous i'm not even sure if you can see this well uh yeah that that is awesome i love it um th 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 i actually like this combination this is the epitome of insanity at its at its best and this isn't even the craziest combination. It gets even crazier. Uh, that is, of course, until I get Lion ha -Oh, which uh, I will be getting. But first, I'm going to be getting uh, Surfer Maru and uh, uh, Dino Maru soon. But overall, this is a pretty cool combination. I definitely like it. And I definitely... Uh, and Bison King, of course, is, of course, a good mech to have. And it's, you know, very fun to use and whatnot. So I definitely suggest you pick this up. It is definitely worth it. So I will see you guys later. Take care. Oh, he's big.